Hi, I'm Donathan. And I'm Kelly. And, and we, we are Craving, Craving Cinematics. Cinematics. Well, we had actually missed a week due to some rearranging of the studio and that kind of thing this past week. So um, we're running a little bit late on getting these reviews out. Last week, we watched a movie called Bad Lepore. And it is one of the first Indian movies I think we've seen that had this kind of tone to it. So I'm going to start off asking Kelly what she thought. Well, what kind of tone did you think it had? The very, I'll throw the question right back at right you. Right back at me. All right. It's very gritty, very dark, um, Death Wish level. Yeah. Uh, type of movie. So what do you think? Well, I thought it was it, it was very disturbing actually mm -hmm. to me. Uh, very, you know, the opening scenes. Um, oh, anytime I see anybody hurt, yeah. it really bothers me. But especially when you see a child hurt, mm -hmm. and that that was just so graphically disturbing to yeah. me when that child got thrown out of the car and and was killed. Oh. So I didn't like that part, and then I didn't like her getting shot. I, I liked. I have a love-hate relationship with this movie. Mm -hmm. I liked the movie because it was different. Um, it really developed the characters very well, I mm -hmm. thought. But I didn't like the movie because I just I didn't like the killing of the child. Uh, I didn't like the killing of the mother. Mm -hmm. Uh, the revenge, whole, you know, just, oh, just so, uh, disturbing is really the only word I can think of Yeah, for this movie. Yeah, this kind of movie, like I said, is Death Wish level. Um, yeah. This reminded me a lot of the revenge movies back from the late 70s coming out of Hollywood. Um, but better. I mean, much better. Yeah, than, uh, the acting and everything. One of the things I really love watching these Indian movies is the character development is just so good. Something that I think Hollywood is beginning to lack now. Beginning? Is, yeah. Beginning? Well, I mean, the movies seem so rushed. Even, you know, oh, a two-hour movie is just too long. Uh, but sometimes you You're need... You're talking about American movies. American movies, okay. yeah. Uh, but I don't mind watching a two-and-a-half, three-hour movie if the character development is there. And, and the storyline is developed. And the storyline is And developed. it makes sense. It all flows and fits together. Exactly. I really liked this movie for what it was. Uh, again, it's the revenge-type movie. Uh, Kelly and I don't really get into those kind of movies very often, um, mainly because they are so disturbing. But that's what made this movie so good, is because it did drum up all those different emotions. Uh, True. I mean, the being actually disturbed by seeing the violence is going on. Oh, and then the lying, you know, that the, the two bank robbers had against one another. Oh, yeah. And the, the one main bank robber who did the shooting, you know, just, uh, it wasn't me, it wasn't, you know, it was, and lied mm. for so long, and it was just... How did somebody live with themselves for that long? Yeah, granted, he went to jail. He yeah. got caught and went to jail. But he still kept maintaining that lie. Yeah. Well, I and think he even convinced himself because he deemed it to be more of an accident. He didn't mean for it to happen. Um, but he did mean for it to happen. He was telling her to shut up and to shut up and to shut up. You got a gun pointed at somebody. Yeah. Well, I think it was <laughs> that also... That doesn't go off on its own. Well, it does if you're driving and you're trying to get away. And what he was doing is he was in the driver's seat and he was pointing the gun at her to tell her to show. She was reaching for him because her you son... You still have to take your little finger against the trigger and pull it. It doesn't go off by itself. Okay. You have to have that little finger on the trigger and you have to physically... Pull it. Now, granted, I know there, there was jostling around. She was reaching for the gun. But don't have a... <laughs> Guns don't kill See, people. Uh, people do. Well, here's... There's my political statement for today. Well, that's what made this movie so good is because the there was so much going on on the uh, underlying main storyline 
these little nuances and I'm not for sure if you picked up on it or not but the relationship between the two two uh, bank robbers one went to jail for many many years he 15, was fined 15, 17, 15 he was years. he was sentenced to 20 but he got out 15 because he had cancer um, but the other ended up taking the money and living the high life having a restaurant and that kind of thing so but the one in prison was thinking that the one who was out held his money and everything, but which he did. Well, here's the kicker. The, the man whose wife and son were killed during this vowed revenge. He did get it, but he made both of them think that they had betrayed each other. Yeah. He which played was really one cool. against the other. One against the other. And I felt bad for the guy, the, the husband, because, you know, he lived... 15 years of his life, you know, just waiting, plotting, waiting plotting this moment. revenge and yeah. and not able to live life. Right. Well, here's the other thing, too, is once he did finally get his revenge, the thing about revenge is that once you take it, you're never satisfied. Yeah, it's, it's never as satisfactory as you plan yeah, it and it, hope it will be. Exactly. And that's pretty much what struck him, but... But he did was given a second chance there at the end. Yeah. Um, which was really uh, uh, poetic justice in a way. Because the first bank robber who actually killed his wife and son, because he's the yeah, one. He dropped, yeah. yeah. So. Oh, yeah, because his son was sitting out in the front, up in up the front. front with him. So it was kind of poetic justice in the fact that he was dying from cancer. But he took the blame for killing his partner and his wife. In the end, yeah. In the end, because he wanted to give the husband a second, second chance. chance. So for him, the, the bank robber, it was a redemption for him. Right. But at the same time, is to give the husband back his life. Of course, it would never be the same. And this movie left me feeling like, I'm just all torn up inside for everything that went on. Oh, yeah. My stomach was in knots. Yeah. But at the same time, it had a real satisfying ending to it. So I love these kind of storylines that bring everything back together and take the time to really develop the characters. So I started feeling sorry for the, the bank robber, the one that went to prison. I started feeling sorry for him. Um, you look at their motivations and everything... And what they were really trying to accomplish, they didn't mean for it to happen. They're however, to get rich quick. right? However, they should have known those would have been the consequences. So, anyway, this was to me was a really, really good movie. Um, if you're into these revenge movies, it is a definite watch, as far as I'm concerned. Um, why about you? Well, it was really what Ralph little here for the homework, but I it was really well written. Yeah. Uh, very, very well, you know, it was acting. Good Lord. I cannot speak today. A little out of practice. Uh, I guess so. You take a week off, you can't speak anymore in front of a camera. Ooh. Uh, anyway, it was, it was well acted. It was well directed. Mm -hmm. uh, it was well written. Mm -hmm. um, everything about this movie was well done. Yes. Uh, you know, and if it, it, if it's a revenge movie that wants to really disturb you, mm -hmm. you know, and it, it, if you're kind of in a grouchy kind of revengeful type mood, yeah, this is definitely a movie to watch. Definitely watch, yeah. And we stuck around for the uh, music video at the end, which I thought was cool. Oh, yeah. The, it was an amazing video, yeah. Um, and the cinematography and everything in that music video alone was it's pretty. Uh, amazing. Yeah. So, all right. So, Battle Pearl, yes or no? Definitely yes. It's awesome. What are you, Roger Ebert now? We could be like Roger Ebert. And... No. 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 Okay. Anyway. Yeah, uh, if you're into the revenge kind of movies, uh, suspense. It was, oh, yeah. There was suspense to it. Uh, definitely watch. Yep. 
All right. All right. I'm Donathan. And I'm Kelly. And, and we, we are, are Craving, Craving Cinematics. Cinematics.